Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, June 22nd, 2022 at 9 a.m. It's actually 9, 10 a.m. And it is time for the Angelus and the Psalter. Alexa, cancel. Angelus Domini Nancy Ave Maria et Concepti de Spiritu Sancto, Ave Maria, Gratia Plena Dominus Tecum, Benedicta Tu in Mulieribus et Benedictus Fructus Ventris Tui Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, Nunc et in Ora Mortis Nostre. Amen. Ece Angela Domini, Fiat Mihi Secundum Verbum Tuum, Ave Maria, Gratia Plena Dominus Tecum, Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Et verbum caro factum est et habitabit in nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, Order pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in order mortis nostre. Amen. Order pro nobis Sancta Dei, Genitris, ut dinia peciamo Christianibus Christi, oremus. Gratium tuum quesimus Domini, mensibus nostri infunde, ut qui Angelo nunciante Christi filii tui incarnationum caniobimus, corpationem meus crucem, ad resurrectionis glorium perdicamur. Praeendum Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Psalm 1. Happy indeed are those who follow not the counsel of the wicked, nor linger in the way of sinners, nor sit in the company of scorners, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who ponder God's law day and night. They are like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade. And all that they do shall prosper. Not so are the wicked, not so. For they, like winnowed shaft, shall be driven away by the wind. When the wicked are judged, they shall not stand, nor find room among those who are just. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
morning, everybody. Let's take some medication. Bones are starting to creak. I slept for an extended period of time yesterday. I slept from the time it was light out until this morning. With getting up to maybe use the restroom for a moment or something like that, like a couple times during the night. And I'm still tired. Excuse me while I go rinse this out.
French press out here as well. Years ago, when I was in my, I was in my, um, well, how old was I in 2009? 79, 30, right? 79, 89. 99, 2009, I'm 30 years old. Around then, I, before then, but around then too, I remember, that's around the time I had first gotten hemorrhoids. And a lot of people, I mean, I didn't know what they were for a long period of time. I, you know, I, I just dealt with it, you know, because it, it, it's, it's an embarrassing thing sometimes, or, or it's a thing that sometimes, sometimes it goes away quick, you know what I mean? It can go right, right, relatively quickly too. Um, and I've never had to have surgery for them, and I don't have them often. I'll, to be quite honest with you, I never have them in relation to diet. They are often from taking drugs rectally. Um, it is how I've gotten them. And, uh, and I actually did not, for a while I didn't put the two and two together, but after a while I did, you know, because I would have them in a pretty quick response to, to, uh, that. And, uh. So I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, because I recently got a case of hemorrhoids, um, and I said, and we're very open. I mean, you know, especially like uh, drug addicts, gay drug addicts, like we've seen everything. You know, we, we, we you know, so we're not very shy. So I woke up the other morning and I said, uh, oh man, I got hemorrhoids from doing a booty bump the other night. Like, uh, you know, and, and I sent him a picture. And I did, you know, I was like, check this out, you know. And um, so we're, I was talking about it for a while. And, and the competition went on later in the morning. And I said, you know, remember, I, I said, you know, remember that, that anti drug PSA, you know, where they show an egg and they say, this is your brain. And they show a frying egg and it's your brain on drugs. Any questions? I said, I'm going to do that with hemorrhoids because a lot of people don't know what hemorrhoids are. I'm going to create a hemorrhoid graphic. And I said, I'm not going to use my own anus because just because I may show it to people that, you know, that, that are not us. And like, you know what I mean? That, that are, that it's going to be a little bit, you know, that way if I show it to my church friends or something like that, then at least it's not my anus or whatever. So I started Googling. Lo and behold, I could not find any anuses that were like suitable to use for this PSA. And I had a, uh, I had a picture of my own anus before uh, hemorrhoids that I had taken during the whole Coulter thing, okay? Like I said, you know, that I wouldn't have had otherwise, quite honestly. I, I, and that is the truth. I'm not saying I've never taken any pictures of myself before. I'm just saying I didn't have that kind of a picture. If it were for the colder thing. So, you know, but the thing is this, the PSA is not a sexual, it's not, you know what I mean? It's not a sexual, it literally is. I literally did it so people would like know what, what hemorrhoids are because, it, you know, until this graphic that I made, there was, there's nothing like it that I've ever seen. 
And I really do think it does a very, you know what I mean? It's good. It, it's a good thing. It's definitely medical. Um, you look at it and you know exactly what hemorrhoids are, you know, and then of course all you got to do is Google to look up what to do about hemorrhoids, you know what I mean? So that's, that, and I, I feel really good about it. I said, you know, I said to my friend Ruben, I was like, after that, I just feel like a dirty little whore. And I said, no, I don't. I feel really, really good that I did that because it's got, you know, if it spreads around, it's really going to help people. Because the only people that know what hemorrhoids are, are people like me that are, that are older, that have gotten them before, and they know what, you know, over time they learn what they are and stuff like that. You know, old, older people know what hemorrhoids are that have had them or have a spouse that has them or, or you know, whatever. Um, and so I uh, created this, this PSA, and I think it's very, very good. Isn't that good? Can you see? I don't know if you can see all the text right there. Come on, where's what's going on there? There we go. So, and luckily now, see the thing too with with hemorrhoids is that sometimes um, if you have when they're really bad, it can be difficult to clean down there. You know, I personally, I you know. And I didn't buy these for the hemorrhoids, but I, I often use uh, wet wipes, you know, when I go to the bathroom anyway. Uh, but so I'm just saying, luckily, like when I took that <laughs> that picture, it was it was all it was all clean down there and stuff like that. So that's good. Um, but some people need surgery on them; they bleed and they can become infected and stuff like that. And uh, so you know, it's really important to. I have had them bleed before a little bit, but I've never had them infected and I never had them bad to require surgery. Um, I never had to sit on a donut pillow, but you know, but this is, again, this is a ministry also for addicts, especially it's for everybody, but it's also especially for addicts. And so if you have that problem, whether it be from diet or drug use, you know, now that you know that it's hemorrhoids, you know, and uh, take care of them a little bit because it, and you know, they're uncomfortable. So, all right, everybody, I'm going to remind you as I do with the end of every video to remember to brush your teeth, to floss, and to say your prayers and stay cool if you're in California. I haven't checked the, the news, the weather. Um, Alexa, what's the weather today? The current weather is 71 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Throughout the day you can expect more of the same, with a high of 78 degrees and a low of 58 degrees. That's kind of a heat wave, I feel like. And yesterday I remember it was 78. The current weather is 71 degrees Fahrenheit Alexa, with mostly sunny... Cancel. Alexa, what's the weather today in New York City? In New York, it's 65 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for showers with a high of 69 degrees and a low of 63 degrees. One more thing, I have a morning updates routine that will provide you updates on the weather and your deliveries for today. Do you want to try it? No. No problem. Alexa, tell me the weather in Northboro, Massachusetts. Right now in Northboro, Massachusetts, it's 65 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today's forecast has clouds and showers with a high of 73 degrees and a low of 57 degrees. Thank you. Anytime, literally. I wish I were in New York City. Wow. So if you're in California today, stay cool. If you're a guy, 
Well, even in, in San Francisco, I think you can even be a woman and not wear a shirt, you know. Uh, you know, stay cool, pray, eat well. Today for lunch, I'm going to have green beans and salmon. That's my lunch for today. I found a piece of, I forgot I had an extra piece of salmon in the refrigerator, so I'm like, yeah. And I might go grocery shopping <clears throat> today, but I don't know. Alexa, what's the weather for tomorrow? Tomorrow, there will be intermittent clouds with a high of 75 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 57 degrees. Thanks. You're very, very, oh so very welcome. That sounded religious, didn't it? That's pretty great. Um, all right, everyone. So that's good. There's light at the end of the tunnel tomorrow. I feel better already. Just having, honestly, I just, just, just praying and just doing this this morning like I do every day. I feel better right now than when I started. Now you may chalk that up to some coffee. I think, I think it's the Jesus, the coffee, the openness, the prayer. And maybe a little bit of the weather tomorrow, but tomorrow, we don't have tomorrow yet. Tomorrow is here when tomorrow is here. Right? All we have is right now. All we have is right now at this moment. We can't eat tomorrow's food yet and be satisfied. We can, but then we'll find that we don't have enough food tomorrow. And then we, you know what I mean? You really can't eat today for tomorrow. All we have is right now. They say that in AA a lot. It's very true. All right, everybody, I love you and peace.